Hey YouTube, it is Trinity Productions, Trinity Pro Sound coming at you again with another video on speakers. This time we're going to mix it up a little and bring you a video on FBT. Um, we've got a Stage Max uh, 12MA monitor that we are going to be taking apart and showing you and hopefully firing this thing up and let you hear hopefully a little bit of how it sounds. Probably not going to hear much through the uh, microphone on me, um, but um, we're going to go through this monitor and uh, take a look at it. Um, just in getting it here, um, it's fairly light. It's a uh, injection molded um, cabinet. Uh, so we'll take a look at the specs here real quick on it in the handy dandy book it here. Um, Two-way coaxial design. Uh, the amplifier uh, that is in it, uh, RMS 400 and 100 watts, um, 400 going to the low frequency driver, 12 inch driver, and 100 watts going to the high frequency driver. Um, frequency response 60 to 20K, um, two and a half inch voice coil on the woofer and uh, 1.7 inch coil on the driver. Um, max SPL, uh, they're saying uh, continuous 124 dB, that's pretty good. Um, crossover frequency is 1.8 kilohertz, uh, 450 watts AC requirement. It's got uh, XLR loops, and again, uh, weight on this um, cabinet is um, almost 30 pounds, so it's fairly light and uh, easily portable. The um, the spec sheet on the um, the box from the manufacturer um, it is uh, BNC speakers. Um, it has uh, Class D amplification in it. Uh, it's got digital signal processor. It has four factory equalization presets on it, which we'll get in and show you as well. Um, it has status indicators on the front. 90 degree uh, directivity horn on the, uh, the box itself. So um, uh, polypropylene, as we had mentioned earlier, as far as the enclosure is concerned, um, it has the ability to do a 33 or 50 to 5 degree tilted uh, front panel in the monitor configuration or kind of stand up and point at you at a uh, higher angle and uh, it's got some rigging points if you ever would need that and um, some replaceable feet on the bottom. So um, we're going to go ahead and do kind of just an overview of the outside on this thing first and then we'll uh, figure out how to take this thing apart and get into it and uh, do our first review of a uh, FBT um, Stage Max. 12 MA monitor. So um, here we go. Okay, so with our other camera, we've zoomed in here so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to step around here to the front of the table and point this out to you. Um, here we've got uh, a power con input. This is the 20 amp power con input and output. Um, on it, we've got the XLR ins and outs. So it's kind of embedded back in there. There are the four presets, and it tells you what they do. First preset is um, uh, original. The other one is a high cut uh, for drum fill. The third one is a low cut uh, double. And then the fourth one is for um, if you wanted to use it for front of house applications. Level control on it, and then it has a high pass filter on and off, and then it tells you what the status lights that are on the front of the box um, that are out here on the edge um, do and what those representations are as far as the, um, the colors are concerned. So um, that's the side panel. Um, underneath there are cups and handles on each end, and then there is a, a handle um, on, the, uh, on the box underneath the front, and we'll um, show you that in just a second. So now I've just done a little bit of a rotation on it here to see the front of the grill. Um, and then on the side, this side that's opposite the, uh, the input panel, again, another handle uh, lifted up. And then we do have um, underneath here another carry handle, and then we've got the feet um, underneath. But it um, makes a nice little um, transportable package. Um, like I said, um, 30 pounds, fairly lightweight, um, can be easily... Um, carried upstairs, downstairs, and into a venue, up onto the stage. Um, clean design. So what we're going to do is work on getting the grill off and uh, this thing disassembled and show you what the inner workings are of this and uh, how the FBT 
Stage Max 12 is put together and, uh, and how it sounds. So with the magic of just four screws along the front lip underneath, um, the grill comes off and exposes the 12 inch driver inside the box here. Um, coated uh, paper surround on it, uh, coated uh, suspension former, and then through the center, this is all um, open. You can see through it and see down through the center of the, um, the coaxial driver here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up so that you can kind of get a, an image of it. And then it's got ports um, on each side uh, for the uh, low end base response um, out of it as well. Um, the cabinet, uh, injection molded cabinet, is done very nicely. Um, everything comes together on, um, on screws and is held together really nice. Everything's you know, kind of recessed on it um, within this area down here and up in the top. Um, it does have um, some dampening material for the grill to ride against here so it doesn't vibrate and rattle. And the grill does lock in fairly nicely. Um, really nice, thick grill. Um, it has a nice locking feature that it slides in at the top and then it comes down and this is what then screws down to the front lip down here and pulls that whole grill assembly down um, completely. So um, probably 16 gauge uh, as far as the uh, thickness of that material, maybe, maybe 18, but um, nice good solid grill. Um, on the speaker. So now we're going to end up um, pulling the driver itself out um, that's in here, the 12 inch driver, and take a look. Um, just in knocking on the box, it's uh, fairly solid, so we're expecting we're going to find some dampening material uh, on the inside because it just doesn't ring. It's a fairly solid knock, almost sounds like wood. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this pulled and uh, get that exposed. So we've gone through and uh, removed all the screws and have exposed the driver. Um, these are ceramic magnet drivers, cast frame uh, suspension and basket on this. Um, fairly standard construction, I don't know what else to tell you. But as we um, have suspected, there is quite a bit of um, foam on the inside of this um, speaker. We're going to go ahead and undo the leads. Um, on this driver itself and um, kind of just show you that, show you a side view of it here and then also the, um, the high frequency driver that goes through the center and then the uh, magnet ring uh, for the uh, 12 inch driver on the back there. So um, that's where most of the weight of the speaker is, or the, the cabinet and everything is, is in this speaker itself um, so that when we remove it, Take it out. This thing is light. So um, with the amplifier and everything in there, which now you can see, um, that is the whole 500 watt uh, power amplifier, uh, switch mode power supply. Makes it uh, really nice and light and compact inside here. Um, but you can see the, uh, the foam dampening material that they put in. Um, that comes up all the way up the back and then goes along the side and goes over to this other side that um, really takes uh, the, um, the resonance as you beat on it out of the cabinet um, and really makes a nice tight little package. Um, amplifiers on a uh, rather large heat sink assembly as you can kind of see in there and then um, that is all held in with just uh, screws um, kind of come in both directions on this thing that I don't want to get in there and completely disassemble the power amplifier out of it. Um, but what we'll do is um, pause right now and get a little bit closer picture of this amplifier assembly for you. So what we'll do is bring this up to the camera so you can kind of see what's in here. And um, everything is on a uh, just a really small little circuit board. Um, power supply and everything comes in um, off the circuit board and all of the um, audio connections are in there. The leads off to the speaker and um, there is um, underneath, which you really can't see, I don't think. Nah, you're not going to be able to get an angle on it. But all of the power supply components are underneath this heat sink um, for the switch mode power supply on the back of it. And then everything for the audio is up on the uh, top side here. 
um, on the uh, the aluminum heat sink inside the box. But um, I'm really surprised uh, with the uh, construction of it. The screws were in there nice and tight and firm. And um, what we're going to do is uh, put this thing back together and um, play a little bit of music through it. Just as a, uh, an FYI, this cabinet does come completely apart. It is two um, sections of injection molded. It um, comes apart here at this seam and uh, has a front half and a back half. Um, but um, overall quality of the, uh, the cabinet is um, extremely well for a, uh, just a simple injection molded um, speaker. So we're going to go ahead and get this back together and play a little bit of music. Got her back together, got her up and running, um, playing a little bit of music through it. Um, the thing's got just a, and I doubt if you're going to hear it, but we're going to turn it up a little bit here. Got some Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons coming through it. But it's got great low-end bass response. It's in the, ri the original EQ setting. Very clear. Highs. You're just too good to be true. You can't take my eyes off. We've got me on the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The side of you leaves me broken. There are no words left to So there you have it. I mean, it's a great sound and monitor. It is light. It is portable. It is priced right and competitive with other monitors that are coaxial, um, kind of in this same uh, product line. Um, I would consider this more of a, uh, a higher end monitor than, uh, than most. Um, but a lot to be said for the FBT StageMax 12MA. Um, we are authorized dealers, and that is why we have started doing the reviews of the FBT products. I'm um, going to be doing some additional reviews on some of their um, line array products and some of the other speakers that they've got in their various product lines. And you'll be seeing those videos come up now from time to time here on uh, Trinity Pro Sound's YouTube site. Uh, check us out on Facebook and uh, also the webpage, www.trinityprosound.com. As we said in the other videos, we are dealers for FBT, we're dealers for RCF, we're dealers for DB Technologies, uh, for QSC, we sell mixers, audio cables, um, we're Allen Heath dealers, um, Digico, um, Midas, um, we just took delivery of uh, an M32 and it is absolutely fantastic, so if you are interested in any of those products, we are Sure Dealers, Audio Technica, Audix, uh, Sennheiser. So anything along those lines, please feel free to give us a call. So there you have it. The FBT line is now part of us at Trinity Productions, trinityprosound.com. Uh, reach out to us, and uh, you won't be sorry. Thanks for stopping by. Tonight I love you, baby. Trust in me.